Uh, Bob Iger, I'll have to start with you. This ending years of speculation about who might succeed you, palace intrigue. Why now and why is Bob Chapek the right person for the job? Well, it's a great time to uh, begin this transition. As you know, I was going to be leaving the company and leaving my role as CEO at the end of 2021. And so the board has been engaged in a process for quite some time of considering who best to succeed me. In Bob Chapik, we have someone that not only knows the company very well, having run a few of our really important businesses, including parks and resorts, but he's also someone that we know very well, and we couldn't think of a better candidate to take over the company at this time. In terms of why now, uh, we, as you know, recently uh, completed the acquisition of 21st Century Fox and have been engaged in assimilating those businesses. We also deployed a brand new strategy, our direct-to-consumer strategy with ESPN Plus and Disney Plus and, of course, now Hulu and, and Hotstar. And given the fact that our asset base and our, our new strategy is in place, uh, my next priority was really making sure that our creative pipeline was as vibrant and as, as rich as possible. It's the most important thing at the company, particularly given the new strategy. But in order for me to concentrate on those creative uh, pursuits or endeavors at the company, I really needed to turn over the reins to, uh, to Bob, to someone else, so that they could essentially run the company day to day and free me up to do uh, what I think should be the priority at this point. So it made perfect sense. It also creates a, a, a really smooth transition, uh, given the fact that I'll be around to advise Bob when he needs it and to bring Bob into you know, some of the businesses, some of the processes that he has not been as familiar with. Uh, and that gives me the opportunity uh, you know, to spend the time during this period of time really working on our creative side. So, Bob Chapek, day one for you is today. This is effective immediately. Obviously, Bob talked there about uh, the streaming strategy. You've just had two hit sequels to uh, Toy Story and Frozen. You've opened the Star Wars portion of the theme park. Where do you intend to double down? Well, I intend to double down on the exact same strategies that Bob has established 15 years ago that have served us so well. You know, at the core of everything that's the, at the center of our brand is really our creative storytelling. And if the creative storytelling is right, then everything else is right, no matter what distribution channel you put it in, whether you put it in the theatrical channel, whether you put it in Disney Plus, or whether you put it in theme parks. So the thing I've really taken away from Bob Iger's legacy is get the content right and everything else kind of follows suit. So, Bob Iger, you said you're going to be focused on more creative endeavors. Can you give us more of an idea of what intrigues you most, ranging from Fox to, uh, obviously, television, Star Wars? Well, creativity abounds at the company, whether it's a television channel or a direct-to-consumer platform or our various movie studios or all the places that uh, we create globally. You know, there's a lot of creation that goes on outside the United States. So I don't have a specific priority, but obviously uh, fueling the pipelines of our new direct-to-consumer businesses is very, very important to us, you know, given how uh, large a role they will play in the future of the company. But there's a, there's, a, there's a lot to do, a lot of creative activity, which is what makes it so exciting and what I think sep separates this company from so many others in the business. Now, obviously, it's a global business. Bob Chapek, you're going to have to get used to being in the hot seat and ask, answering questions on a host of macroeconomic and political issues. The coronavirus is front and center. You've got theme parks in China. Can you give us an update on the status of the parks there, when they will reopen, and what life is like for employees? We're not prepared to give an update on the impact of the coronavirus on our business. But what I will say is that when you've got a brand as strong as ours and tremendous franchises and built-in consumer demand, we know that when we're able to reopen our businesses, we'll come back better and stronger than ever. So, Bob Iger, you know, I have to ask if there are any other jobs out there that are of interest to you. Obviously, <laughs> your potential political ambitions have been speculated about. Uh, very much. You know, what else might uh, we see you do if not at Disney? I haven't made any decisions at all about what comes after Disney. I, I think I'm going to have to use my imagination to figure that out. Uh, right now I'm concentrating on the priorities that we've, we've talked about and, and I'm not going to take my eye off the ball until I actually retire from the company at the end of 21.
So quickly then, you're leaving at a time when obviously uh, the coronavirus has markets in upheaval, a very competitive election here in the United States. Bob Iger, what is your outlook on sort of uh, the macroeconomic picture in 2020? Well, again, as Bob said, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to comment specifically about um, the impact of the coronavirus. Obviously, it's very unfortunate, and you know, we, we feel for all the people who were affected by it. Uh, overall, we thought that the world was quite a hospitable place for our company. You know, as Bob mentioned, our stories, the storytelling of this company are enjoyed the world over. Our businesses are doing extremely well. The long-term prospects for our brands and our franchises and our businesses are, I think, at this point, looking quite good. Uh, we're obviously experiencing some very, very challenging times now, whether you're looking at the stock market or whether you're looking at just the global business environment due to this virus. But, um, you know, while you know, we view this as a serious situation, we also know that it's not permanent, and this company has always shown an ability to rebound from some of the biggest challenges that, that it has faced, and this is one of them.